Hey folks, so this week's video is about the difference between a step and a slide, and when would you use either of these movements? This may seem simple to some, but hopefully explaining the nuances can give some clarity. So the main difference I always explain is that in a step, you stay vertical, your torso stays vertical. In a slide, you get horizontal, and therefore I think of it, I approach it, like it's two movements because you get horizontal and then you have to get back to vertical. In later videos, we'll get into detail on both how to do a step and how to do a slide. But if we're just focusing on a step that stays vertical, of course there's a pro and a con to that. You can do it quicker, you're on your legs, your hands are ready, you can get out of the water quicker, but you don't travel laterally as far. In contrast, a slide gets you further but it takes longer to do because you've got the go, which gets you horizontal, but then the snap for recovery to get back to vertical on your legs. So solely thinking about those pros and cons, you're probably asking, when would you do either? Should you only ever do one or the other? I've found through coaching and reflecting on my own play that a goalie does steps about 90, 95% of the time generally speaking, or at least they should, in my opinion. The reason being is that a goalie should not find themselves in too many scenarios where they need to do a two movement slide to correct themselves. Five on six should be short, fast steps. The ball being passed around the front court perimeter should be all steps. And bigger perimeter passes should simply be slightly bigger steps. The goalie should be ready and anticipating these passes. So they shouldn't be late or behind the ball movement. But even then, how far out of the cage or over committed are you that it requires a two-step slide just to keep up with the ball movement? This ends up being the application of a slide. And typically those circumstances are defending a counterattack at a disadvantage. A three on two counterattack I think is the best example. If you're out of the cage honoring the ball but trying to deter maybe a pass to the middle or any type of entry pass, you're truly expecting some type of cross pass. You have to play that position, but you're truly expecting a pass. That pass most likely is gonna be some big pass, and that shot most likely is gonna happen. You must anticipate that pass, do the slide to get horizontal and cover all that distance, then also snap to recover to be on your legs to be ready for that shot either ideally before they receive that ball or just as they receive that ball. I maintain in all these scenarios, front court, defense, five on six, counter attack, I'd rather sacrifice that distance for a slide for just being ready on my legs, seeing how far I can get in a step, doing it quicker, and if there's any distance I still need to cover, I can cover that in my blocking movement, a lunge, a two hand. I'd rather be ready. Stay tuned for the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, share. If you're a coach, feel free to direct message any questions you might have.